Friday, October the 26th, 2018. Anachronism number 2,798. Coiffured. It's not my tome to pen, and what a pen it would be, but the necessity for this ask, task, might as well look like defeat. May I borrow your set of clippers, please? My last two pair have been, sadly, stolen. And as for what remains of this last set, well, I just accidentally chopped the electrical wire in two. But it is. So you lost all sensation in your left abdomen? Good news, the depression. People go around saying uh, beards are passe now, but I'm in luck because this is San Francisco, and in San Francisco, be you an actual panhandler, the word harks a bit too far back in this neck of the woods, but I guess could mean one who doesn't have a job, one who doesn't have a place to live, and or one who doesn't have a penny, or you, a tech zillionaire. The good news is this, beards are still very much in fashion. Don't take a moment, however, don't think for a moment, however, that just because I am double up on my luck because of my profession and I live the lifestyle that has been handed to me that I cannot relate to the guy who is in the fishing industry. And panhandlers, being still as they say in on the joke, I have yet to hold my cupped hands out sad facedly toward anything but the internet. Also, just because I'm queer and obviously have no idea where I am going with this, does not mean I give a dime to any Tom, Dick, or Harry on the street. I say people need to own it in order to earn it. Not that I even pay attention to the street or to the people on them. At least Daddy always says that I like to think of a runway as a garage with a slice of carpet down the middle. Somewhere between the Jaguar and the Leisure Van, or maybe we could place the carpet here, next to the Tesla. How wouldn't that be very today? By the way, Jaguar is our little family joke. <clears throat> However, I'm unsure who in the family still approves of it being a joke anymore. This is, ever since Skeeter passed during the safari back in uh, 88, Ske Skeeter drove through the Jaguar, drove the Jaguar once with Billy Joel in the passenger seat, or so the story goes anyway. Honestly, I think this show is going to be such a crumble. It's like Eve always says to me, you do such gritty work. How do you do it? I'll tell you how to do it. And this is just between you and me. I make it real, honey. I make it real. <laughs>